All right, so here's another one of these small two by two paintings. Um, this one is my, by far my favorite out of all of them. Um, and you know, all of them, st I have all the, them starting off with like an orange background to remove the white of the, the, the surface. And I'm, uh, I'm composing the elements, putting in the big shapes enough for me to, to give me a guide to, to finish it. Um, I really liked, <clears throat> I really liked the light kind of coming through. I like the, the, these nice shapes that are happening here at the trees and then the, uh, the rocks and stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to get everything that I want to make sure I can feel. So when I'm putting these lines and drawing these in there, I'm really like filling out the, the composition so that I know like, yeah, that's, that's what I want. That's going to work. So, um, that's essentially kind of like that, that ridge right there where those that's coming over and coming down to the water and you can see the, the shadows that it's kind of being cast. So that's, Kind of what I'm putting there. Enough, whatever I needed, to, just to make sure that I know clearly what I want and, and how I think the elements are going to fit in there, into the composition, into the piece. So, first I need to get rid of the, uh, or establish the sky. Get that in there. Um, let that dry. These pieces, you know, they're small. They're again two by two inches. They all. You know, it took me roughly like thirty minutes to to paint. Um, so, um, I'm just simplifying things, starting off with like the big shapes and then, um, working through them. These are great things to do, you know, traditionally or digitally. Um, what you can do is, you know, doing these small studies helps to kind of, you know, not helps to do a couple things, right? First, you know, helps to get some mileage and get more fluent with painting and digital painting or painting, whatever, um, and build up some, you know, visual vocabulary to be able to paint and to communicate those shapes and ideas. Also, um, you can, uh, just learn to and get that mileage and be able to do more stuff, right? Um, use these elements, use these things for perhaps concepts and other ideas um for later or or for something you're working on um like as studies and uh, these studies will help you to kind of learn get in like the, the kind of the form language and that the stuff that's kind of going on in that piece without investing too much time and that time that's invested is definitely worth it because it helps will help you in the back end to be able to when you're d designing or doing like a bigger piece uh be able to approach it and, and, and nail it. So this was actually, you know, this study like 30 minutes and I was able to kind of resolve a lot of things, uh, figure stuff out and like it to the point where I, I ended up doing later on a bigger version of it and having it be uh, successful and a great piece as well. So, um, but because of me like doing this, it allowed me and helped me to be able to, to do that. Um, so, um, starting off, you know, when you, you're, you have a project, whatever that may be, a painting that you're wanting to do or some concepts, um, building up a good bit of, of reference and, and, and library to kind of pull from, and then start doing these small studies, studies like this, um, will help to kind of better prepare you to figure out what needs to happen, getting into like, you know, as you're drawing the shapes and, 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 and the elements and things that are in this piece, you know, in this case, I'm trying to copy a lot of what's in there. And that's kind of the intention, or at least at first, then, you know, if I was to go and design other environments or concepts and how this was like the, the type of look and feel that I was going for, it needed to be, I could easily go ahead and, and design a lot of, uh, a lot of great work, a lot of, elements or things based on that, based on this. So let's break down some of the elements that we're looking at here. Um, we have essentially like 
sky, which is simple. We have water reflection, which is also pretty simple and, and, and not much. Big, huge rocks and cliffs. Uh, and then we have some vegetation. And the vegetation is kind of maybe some grasses and smaller plants and shrubbery and things. But then we have these big, huge pine trees that are very like angular and kind of like spikes or, or, or cones or whatever, right? So, um, and that's essentially all, all that we're using to compose it and, and to make this piece. Um, and within those, we have the light and sh shadow that's kind of coming in there to work and um, help create like this interesting dynamic composition. So, um, I essentially painted the shadow shapes with that dark, with the darkness at first, right? That's the dark, then I'm painting the light um, and just getting something there. Reducing things to that simple graphicness and two value breakdown is actually really good because you're focusing on the graphicness and the, the, the composition. When I'm doing these, they, uh, the time got, goes by so fast for me, like just because, you know, from the very beginning, I'm thinking about the composition and these elements and, uh, and trying to capture uh, this, this piece and trying to do it simply and, and efficiently and, and, and everything. So the time is, you know, it's just, it's almost, it goes by so quickly. Um, I'm just kind of trying to, as the water, the reflections go down further, starts to kind of, you know, soften those and have that kind of pick up more like maybe there's like wind or noise or some the water's a little bit more ripply and it's catching more of the sky and reflecting into that. Uh, and that kind of also helps uh, soften that edge. Um, so, yeah. You know, as I'm painting these, you know, these light and dark shapes, um, sometimes I, you know, go too far where I need to kind of eat into it and, you know, bring some shadow into the lights or some lights into the shadows and kind of give it that variety, kind of push and pull. And so, um, that's what I'm trying to do is balance, make it, make it look, so it looks and feels really, really nice. Yeah, for the most part, I've used um, bigger brushes to get all these textures and and to uh, kind of say all the detail. So now I'm bringing back this, or you going on top of this little rigger brush, that does add to that that next level of detail. So it just helps to make a piece feel a little bit more finished by having small little little branches and twigs here and there, grasses and things, to kind of make it feel more finished. So. Um, And also put in like the water line, you know, where that shore, the rocks and everything meet the meet the water and and everything. It was really nice. It's really really dark right there. It kind of helped. <clears throat>
it's just these adding little details here and there um trying to refine some of those shapes and give it that variety and kind of interest throughout addressing those scenes that bother me <clears throat> well we're getting pretty close with everything uh, i think i have some of the some some vegetation left some of the grasses and some rocks in the center even more specifically that uh, means it's kind of kind of bothering me still So, um, as I finish this up and add those final details, um, I hope that this was helpful and uh, informative and instructive to be able to help you with your your concepts and your paintings. Um, and just remember, like all this mileage, there's just no way around. You got to put on that time, and this is a great way to be able to keep developing your skills and, and growing. And, you know, even exercises to kind of get the juices flowing. You know, if that maybe you feel like a, there's a kind of hitting a rut or something, this could be a way to kind of just kind of do it, you know. Okay. Get your mind working in, yeah, those creative juices flowing. So I'll let this finish, uh, finish out, but that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy this and it was helpful for you. Excited to see what you guys can do.